Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. In southwest Suffolk County, t- serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, tri-state area to make sure your home looks good and is working good. And that includes your yard with topsoil mulch. And come winter time, uh, the largest supplier of salt in the tri-state area. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. Very uh, interesting setup here. We've got uh, the two standouts on the satellite. Uh, First off are the Hurricanes. Uh, We have uh, Hurricane Earl, uh, which is uh, sitting out uh, in the open waters of the Atlantic, continuing on its steady course to the north. You see it right here. Uh, The uh, system is just moving up and inching its way toward Bermuda, where we have... Uh, tropical storm uh, watches that are up and we have Hurricane K on the lower left that is moving northwest north northwestward and is not only going to clip the central part of the Baja Peninsula you see the part here that sticks out but it does look as if the rains from this will get into Southern California and it might be a significant rain event for parts of uh, Southern California so that's interesting and uh, in the meantime We're still dealing with lots of leftover clouds from yesterday's weather system, which, by the way, if you look off the coast of Virginia, there is a low-level circulation here. It's devoid of any thunderstorm activity, but nonetheless, there is a low-level swirl that is pulling in clouds in from the east, and then we have the upper trough to the west, and that's producing some showers, which were in Pennsylvania and have now moved into parts of New Jersey, at least as of 3 o'clock Eastern time, and also uh, into the Hudson Valley. We're going to have to play through the shower activity through this evening before it gradually dissipates, and then we could head on to some better weather as we move through the rest of the week and into the weekend. The uh, Storm Prediction Center for today uh, has risk along the Texas coast at southwest Louisiana, slight risk from Oregon northwestward up uh, into Montana. Uh, no thunderstorm activity from Maine down to about New York City and northern New Jersey and northeastern Pennsylvania. And we don't have any thunderstorm activity to worry about uh, over the next couple of days. Meanwhile, in terms of seven day rainfall, uh, and this will uh, come from the next weather system, which will be moving in probably sometime late Sunday night and on Monday. We're looking at maybe another half inch to three quarters of an inch or maybe even an inch over parts of the Northeast, not so much in Maine and and down into uh, New Hampshire and Massachusetts. Bigger rains, though, in the Southeast, including uh, some areas in Georgia, particularly Northeast Georgia, Northwestern South Carolina and Western North Carolina could see several inches or more of rain there down to the Florida coast where we actually have a patch of seven to 10 inches. And then take a look in the Southwest, uh, particularly in Southern California. Uh, They have a moderate risk of uh, flash flooding being indicated here. So we're talking about anywhere from uh, a half an inch to as much as uh, two to three inches of rain showing up. And here you see it uh, on uh, WPC's forecast uh, with that uh, moderate risk of flash flooding being indicated there and a slight risk of flash flooding uh, in uh, parts of the uh, southeast. And this is the period, by the way, from Friday uh, into Saturday. Our weather here is going to be relatively simple uh, over the next several days. And uh, September has been known to produce some really nice weather days. And Earl is going to actually help the cause because as it moves northward, it's going to be helping to put that and the old low, which by tomorrow morning will be well offshore, will be helping to pull down nice dry air from uh, eastern Canada and pulling it down uh, into the northeast and mid-Atlantic states. So we're going to have reasonable dew points probably right into the first part of Sunday. And I think we'll see maybe some leftover early clouds tomorrow. Uh, uh, And also you can see a couple of pop-up showers uh, inland in Pennsylvania in the afternoon. But there should be a fair amount of sunshine. And then Friday, I think, looks good with mostly sunny skies. Highs both days. I think it'll be pretty much between 75 and 80. And then maybe up into the low 80s as we head into Saturday with still some nice weather. And then you start to see this next low 
uh, the part of it's coming out of the Northern Plains, and uh, another part of it is coming up uh, out of uh, the Middle Mississippi Valley. That's going to bring some showers close. This is Sunday afternoon, so I think Sunday might be more of a partly sunny type day, and we'll see if those showers hold on. By Sunday evening, we see them in Pennsylvania, mainly west of I-81, down into Virginia and eastern North Carolina. Uh, but a warm front is going to be coming up late Sunday night and Monday morning with some showers. And then the cold front will follow probably on Tuesday with some showers and maybe a thunderstorm. And then does the system linger around or not? That's the uh, next question. If it does, we might have an extra day of shower activity next Wednesday uh, and hopefully some improvement after that. Although it's going to be a little bit tough. Uh, we're going to have a, a trough that's going to try to hang around uh, along the East Coast. And you can see it here. We've got an upper low that's going to be diving down uh, into Illinois and Indiana and Ohio. Fortunately, we do not have a tropical storm uh, in the wrong position here, and I'll say off the southeast coast, because then it would shoot right up. But with that upper low present in the Ohio Valley, if it doesn't get out of the way, if it just sort of sits there and starts to weaken, that'll probably prolong the chance for showers uh, during next week. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. The telephone number there, 631-756-1125 for the best prices in town. OmniTrueValue.com is the website. We're going to go through all of this in great detail tonight. Where? Well, on the Joe and Joe Weather Show, of course, and that will be tonight at 730 Eastern. So we hope to see you then.